Good morning. It's Monday morning. Wow. Um, second to last Monday of the year. I mean, I pulled a card of the day. It's the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, what more do you want from a Monday besides this energy right here? The Eight of Pentacles reminds us that we need to put in the effort to achieve our goals. Um, yeah, it might be um, tiresome or boring at times, but it is really about putting in the effort today. And honestly, I feel that this week. I had a really sort of turbulent weekend, but I also woke up feeling very, um, yep, it's time to get to business. Um, what else can I say about the Eight of Pentacles? I'm not totally sure. So what is the work? I'm going to I'm going to go into dreamland here cuz I've been having some pretty interesting dreams. Let's see what comes out. The Eight of Pentacles is asking the question, are you committed to your goals? So stave off laziness, indecision, and just roll up your sleeves and do it. Just do it. Close the year, right, with without anything hanging over your head. That's that's what I want to come back to. That's for sure. Okay, 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 okay. The gift. I love the gift. It is a blessing. It's something that we have to acknowledge or recognize that is available to us when it is offered. We have to be able to identify it, figure out how to use it, and then return it. That is the gift. What is the gift in disguise currently in your life? Like what is the, um, what is being offered to you right now that can be mm, accelerate your goal. What is this gift being offered? Is it do you have extra time? Is it a sense of clarity? A specific opportunity? Innocence, destruction, lucid, inspiration, death. My goodness, robbery. The source, rebirth, synchronicity. Yeah, I guess they all are upright. So, I mean, essentially what I'm seeing here is innocence is the full card of the tarot. Destruction is really a card of, of releasing attachment. So seeing something as if it's new. Lucid. I don't get this card a lot, so I, I keep forgetting sort of its, its, its main intention. It's an eight card as well, number 17. Right, okay, so the lucid is like the magician. It's an invitation to create your world to manifest what you wish to have occur. A card of empowerment and action. Yes. I had a feeling. I was like, this is about... Because she has the flame in her hands. This is about... Sensing your power. You Look how... Look how similar these are. The flame of the gift and her hands. So, this might be the energy of a... Of a energy of chance. You knowing that there's this gift in your hands 
and what are you going to do with it? I feel like it is important to release any attachments to the past and, and be more of the student, the humble student mindset for what comes next. And we have inspiration, death, robbery. Death is about removing false masks. So this could be, a, look at the eclipse at the top of that card. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Robbery. Something, is the feeling of something being taken away from you, but it hasn't been. So this can happen if, if there's currently some sort of transformation going on here. And look, she, there's, the, there's the flame again, too, in her hand. So this gift might be some sort of seed of inspiration, something that's making you feel very, um, well, based on last night's reading, optimistic. There's some sort of optimism here based on having a fresh perspective. I think that it's changing you in the process. It's changing how you approach things. Um, I do feel a great sense of relief with this death card because look, she's exposing this universe in her chest. This is about revealing your true nature, who you really are. There, there's a great sense of relief here. <clears throat> the robbery is interesting. It's an interesting card. Let me see what else I can pull from that. Okay, so what I said before about something wasn't truly taken away, that would be in the reverse. We have no reversals this time, so take it however it resonates, but it is a bit of a red flag here in the present moment. Um, it indicates a need for vigilance. Um, look how there's the, the eclipse in here too, or the new moon. This is that technically a crescent, like. Vigilance could just be referring to the energy of you know, dotting every I, crossing every T of this sort of bouncing off this Eight of Pentacles energy. Or simply, in other words, someone could be feeling anxious about this transformation. Again, I, I feel like this is cautiously optimistic <laughs> from last night. That's fun. What's interesting, though, is what's happening here in the near future. The source, rebirth, and synchronicity. Rebirth is about things falling away, allowing things to fall away. So, and source is tapped into collective. So... This here might be the gift as well. This ability to be connected to source, be connected to some higher um, voice. I'm going to say in your head because look, it's like in their head. But you know, wherever you pull it from, this, this, the source of your inspiration, the source of your transformation the source of your power, like where are you manifesting from, is the nature of your rebirth. So remember that. Um, you know, when you focus on negative things, negative things comes towards you. The Google search result sort of theory. You search for negative stuff, you get negative search results. Look for the positive in things, and you get the positive. So 
Synchronicity is a confirmation that if, if this resonates with you and, and you have been feeling synchronous activity in your life, this transformation is, is currently happening. And if it's not happening right now, it's going to happen in the near future. So just pay attention to where you're getting your, your power from. Where are you getting your inspiration from? What is molding your thoughts? How are you remaining in control of you know, your thinking patterns, your emotions, how are you keeping those in check? How are you expressing yourself um, authentically? Not wearing the mask. Choose to not wear the mask. It might feel a bit nerve-wracking at first because I think the instinct here is to protect ourselves But what wants to come in here, I think, is, is way more powerful than what you're currently, where you're currently at. I believe most of us are still in this place, the place of innocence. Like, um, I see the, I see the little deer as a student, a student of life, the fool, really, the fool card pretty naive until you tap into source and the thing that happens between these two cards is an acknowledgement of your own personal power and a disattachment of ego this fuels your inspiration number four card the robbery card is really the only card here that's always like will we always be looking backwards or will we always be looking to the past I think that'll say a lot about your, this rebirth. Synchronicities can point to signs of where you should look. Show me rebirth. Actually, show me robbery. maze yeah okay so this is maybe just <laughs> vigilance is needed in the maze there's a lot of twists and turns we're all trying to figure out where we're going um, but don't don't turn in the maze don't mindlessly traverse the maze you have to you have to sort of try to map out in your mind the curves it's okay that it it doesn't make sense to the mind just before you choose a direction there is this need for vigilance you want to go where you truly feel you're being called to this this direction here the maze also has lots of entrances and exits so it's almost like anything can happen there's so many possibilities. Yeah, you sort of you need to choose here. This is about again choosing what you're tapping into. What is your source? <laughs> what is your source? Um, they told me the exit was this way. Really, what's your source? Let's check our sources here. Mm. Show me rebirth. Other worlds. Other worlds is the Ten of Cups of this deck. I lo look at that. I mean... The only person holding you back from reaching your potential 
this, what, whatever potential you desire in your life that, that you feel will make you most content, most happy. I'm really strongly getting that you're, you're sort of holding yourself back here. Or maybe not even actively. I feel like if you are doing this work up here of like this attachment of ego, recognizing your power, nurturing this gift, remaining vigilant, that's, that's all of the spiritual work. You have to allow time for rebirth to cycle. Other worlds is a portal. It's something you enter and then once you're on the other side, you're there. It takes time, but at the same time, it happens in an instant. You might not you might not notice it's happening until it's sort of happened to you and it feels different. Um, I'd like to read Synchronicity 39. If there are reoccurring themes, symbols, animals, and topics, these are your little hints of where you need to focus your attention to find the answer you are looking for. They are also signs that you are on your correct path and your guides are trying to give you aid along the way. Trust and believe. This is maybe something to carry with you this week. Look out for little signs. If you're truly tapped in, you'll get them. And you'll know.